Hi, this is JP LaForest from EfficientAnalyst.com. In this video, we will see how to combine text from multiple columns. So here we're going to use the Customers tab uh, as we've used in previous exercises. And as always, this exercise book is available on the EfficientAnalyst.com website, so you can download it to follow along, or you can use your own data. So in here, what we're going to do over here is we're going to combine the city and the country. And the first method uh, we'll use is using flash fill. And basically you write it out the way you would like it to appear. So we'll put Ottawa comma space and then Canada, which is the city and the country. And I'll press enter. And at this point, you have two options. One of them is if you right click the little dot in the corner here and you drag it down all the way to the bottom, you'll have a flash fill option. And as you can see, that automatically understands what you're trying to do and fills it out. And I'm going to undo. And the other method is pressing Ctrl E. And this way, it just automatically understands that you want to flash fill the rest of this table down. And it'll apply the same type of logic. So the Excel AI has really gone a long way since the first version of this. I think it started around uh, Excel 2013 and 16. And then every version, it seems to get a little bit better. The second method we're going to see is using the concat function. And you'll see if you're using a newer version, uh, there is still the old concatenate uh, function is still available, but it has a little warning sign here. And basically, uh, this is no longer the official function that Excel supports. And in the future, this might go away. So they're recommending to write all the formulas using concat, which is expected to last for quite a long time. And we'll select the first cell, which is the city. We'll put a comma between every element we want to add. And we'll put the country. And as you can see, this bunch it up uh, all together like that, which is not what we're looking for. So in here, we'll put a quotation mark and we'll do like this. And basically anything between the quotation mark, in this case, space, we're putting a comma and a space, will be added in between. The same way that if we wrote instead of that, if we put ABC, just to show an example, it would write the text ABC in between, but the text we want to add is a comma and a space. And then as always, you can drag it down to fill the other rows. And finally, the method that I use is uh, the method with the AND or S for SAND. And basically, you'll do the equal to C2, which is the city, with the AND sign, and Canada. And again, you'll see that it scrunches up in between. So we'll again put the text that we want to add in between. And basically, that's how you can very quickly combine text columns in Excel. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.